Can we touch on the aluminum? The aluminum wiring as well, because this is a, a great big one, one that that's people think. One. People compare it to kind of novelty. They think aluminum needs to no. go. So aluminum does not need to go. Uh, a couple ways to identify aluminum. It's going to be written right on there, aluminum. Uh, but you'll notice it's actually a wider gauge. Uh, it's a little bit thicker than our copper. Everything with aluminum was always a step up. So where this was a uh, 14 gauge wire, this was a 12 gauge wire. They ran the same amperage. The big issue with this is aluminums are perfectly fine. Uh, perfectly fine conductor of electricity. It's a great highway. It is terrible at being a connector of electricity. It's mm. bad at being an on-ramp and off-ramp because essentially under pressure the wire expands a little bit. Uh, when that load's taken away it contracts again. That expansion contraction over time can lead to separation of the wire against the lugs that hold it into place either at the device or at the breaker. That inevitably speaking can lead to the Fire. Yeah, I've, I've never had anybody explain it this good before. Uh, the idea of this is everybody turns around and says, well, we got to rewire the house. No, you absolutely do not. So I told you it's a perfectly fine conductor of electricity. So it's great as being a highway. So what, what they do is they do some a process called an aluminum pigtail. An aluminum pigtail is where they take this wire and they meld it with this wire. So what they do is they pigtail these two together permanently and they use a purple morette that goes around the top. This is a pigtailed connection. Now the last, say, three inches of the connection is now copper. So our connectivity issues are now negated. The mm. conductivity issue is fine. This is an ESA approved, insurance approved remedy for dealing with aluminum wire. It's actually reasonably affordable and it's a permanent fix.